Hello, and welcome to Reddit Rewind, where we cover Reddit's most ridiculous stories. So today, our story is titled, Karen and Co. Want to Pet My Service Dog. This happened yesterday, and while, as usual, many will call me an a-hole, I still don't feel bad about it. I'm on my way home from work and decide that I need to do my grocery shopping, then because I'm exhausted and know I won't get out again once I get home. Important to note at this point, for those who don't know, I have a service dog in training, Sadie, that goes everywhere with me. So I was in the membership version of America's most popular store and browsing to see what groceries I'd need for the month. When I hear the familiar high-pitched squeal of the increasingly common vagina banshee. Now, this isn't an uncommon occurrence as to anyone who has seen my dog will tell you that she's absolutely adorable. Half Great Pyrenees, half Catahoula Leopard Dog, seven months old and around 65 pounds. She knows better than to interact with people at this point, but she does as she is trained as she sees the kid running up and puts herself between myself and the kid, not really in a guard stance, but sideways between myself and the kid and touching the back of my legs so I know where the person is approaching from. In this case, I already knew, but I still turned around and gave her a treat. She's still learning after all, and told her to heal. She does as she's told, and the kid slows and comes to a stop now that I'm between him and Sadie. So now the cast, EM, entitled Mom, SC, Sentinel Lovestain, aka Kid, SC, Your dog is so cute, I want to pet it. Me, I'm sorry, but see the vest with the patches she's wearing? It says, service dog, do not touch. That means she's working right now and can't be distracted. I don't really like kids much beyond my niece and nephew, so I'm not good with telling ages and didn't know if he could read. I figured he knew to obey signs though, so I thought if I told him what it said, he'd understand. Nope. He still hasn't earned his nickname quite yet. SC. What's a service dog? She doesn't look busy. Just one pet. He's not being rude, just sounds more curious than anything. So I don't really mind explaining. And I notice a woman push her cart up behind him, so I assume she's his mom. And I felt a bit more relaxed about the situation. Me. A service dog is a dog that helps people do things. There are all types of jobs dogs can do, but they can't be distracted because their owners need them to pay attention to only them in case something happens. SC. But she's just sitting there right now. If she's not going to get back to work, you should let me pet her. Now, at this point, I guess I should have noticed that if she's not going to get back to work, red flag, and guessed he was being raised by a Karen. But honestly, I've really only dealt with a few Karens in my life and didn't think much of it. Just that he was a kid being annoying. Me to his mom. Uh, Ma'am, could you please explain it to him? I don't have kids, so I'm not too good at this. I was admittedly probably sounding annoyed in all honesty, but I was still trying to be polite and I don't think I was being unreasonable here. But she seemed to take offense. Entitled mother. Why? He just wants to pet her. It's not a big deal and he's been acting really good today and he deserves a treat. I don't see why you won't let him pet her. Me. Definitely annoyed now. Ma'am, she's a working dog. She shouldn't be distracted. I don't mean to be rude. But you're also not wearing masks, and COVID has been known to spread to dogs as well. I'd really prefer no one mess with her. We're in Texas, and I'm sure everyone has heard how poorly the state is handling the pandemic. But the majority of people still refuse to wear masks. And of all the shops I've been to, only one store still has a no mask, no entry rule. Shout out to Skechers. Thanks for being proactive. EM. Oh, so you're one of those people. Insert eye roll. Just let him pet the stupid dog so we can move on. The stupid virus is over with. Everything is open now. Me. I think we're done here, and I just walk off, keeping Sadie in my sight just in case. It should have ended there. She should have just told her kid I was an a-hole or something and moved on. But if she did, I wouldn't be posting this. Instead, she leaves her cart behind walks up behind me and grabs my shoulder. It's at this point I should mention that I have Sadie because of my PTSD. Now, usually it's controllable. I'm on meds to help with anxiety and I'm in therapy and don't usually have a problem. Hell, I even love music festivals and raves, 
and have only had a problem one time when I was trying to leave EDC early and got stopped at the gate because they were about to set off fireworks. And something about the bangs and being close enough to feel the vibrations of that many fireworks got to me. I guess with the quarantine being so recent and not having to worry about people randomly grabbing me and touching me and stuff, I mean, hell, even someone rolling absolute balls at a rave usually asks before they hug you or something. I'd kind of let my guard down a bit. This set me off though, and without even thinking, I grab her hand and spun around, twisting her arm and pushing as hard as I could, sending her sprawling to the ground. What the hell is wrong with you? I yelled. And I said some other stuff, but I was mad and honestly don't remember what I said. Something about no means no, I don't want her nasty ass hands on me. At this point, Sadie had gotten between us in her stance and began to bark, loudly and repetitively, as she had been trained, so she could get someone's attention. I noticed Sadie was off her damn leash because somehow, SC had gotten in front of my cart and unhooked it. Luckily, Sadie is the best girl and doesn't need a leash to do her job. She never even thought about running and just stood in front of me barking. SC was crying after seeing what happened to his mom and getting scared that the cute puppy was now looking pretty damn mean. Now, Sadie wouldn't hurt a fly, but this woman didn't know that, and Sadie has a very intimidating bark. Without even standing up, this woman was scrambling to get back from me and grabs at her cart to stand up. Of course, employees start running to see what's going on, and when one gets there, she asks what's going on. EM, this man's dog tried to attack me. I was just trying to get his attention, and it bit me. Now, I've browsed this sub enough to know where this was headed, and I wasn't in the mood. Me. Look, just call the cops and grab the camera footage. I'm not going to play that he said, she said game. The employees call for the manager, who calls the cops and asks us to come to the front office to get things sorted out. We start to head towards the office, but once there, EM says she doesn't have time for this and has places to be and just walks out of the store. No one tries to stop her, but the manager looks at the footage and prints off her face to put on the banned people wall. And when the cops arrive, they say there's nothing they can do, since she's already left. I got an employee discount for my food, which was nice, but left in a pretty bad mood because of the interaction. After getting home, I gave Sadie a small slab of steak for being such a good girl, and I just took a shower and went to bed. Didn't get anything done, and I needed to, but it had been a long day, and I was extra annoyed. So that's it. Sadly, no real repercussions for Karen, other than maybe a bruise or two where she hit the tiles and a traumatized kid. But if this sub is any indication, Karens don't learn from stuff like that. Here's to hoping the kid learned a thing or two, at least. And because this is Reddit, I know I'll be asked if I didn't include it. And because this is Reddit, I know it'll be asked if I don't include. Here's a few galleries of Sadie. One, two, three. Edit. I don't let people pet Sadie at the moment because my GF is immunocompromised and Sadie, of course, has a spot on the bed even when she sleeps over. Otherwise, I'd be happy to let people pet her if they asked first. Wow, okay, well after listening to that story, that definitely was a situation that I personally would not like to find myself in. I don't know about you guys. Sounds like this Karen didn't know what a service dog was and that he was training it, even though he tried to explain it to both her and her son very nicely. So I went through the comment section and I found a few comments that I thought were appropriate. So the first one is, you are 1 million percent in the right here, especially since the doggo is still in training. I was on the bus with my toddler, under three, before this whole end of the world situation and a man with a service dog gets on the bus. Toddler gets excited, wants to cuddle the puppy like he does at home. But I stop him and explain that puppy is at work like daddy is at work. We don't bother daddy at work, so we don't bother the puppy either. Boom. Toddler gets it. A little pouty for not being able to cuddle a puppy? Me too, kid. Me too. But he understands. It's not complicated. Yeah, and this is a fantastic way of describing it. I think this, uh, this poster here did a, a great job of explaining how to basically tell a kid what a service dog is and that we should leave them alone when they're on duty. And on to the next comment. When my niece was about seven, she saw her first service dog. I caught her right as she was about to pet the dog. We had to talk about service dogs and not touching other people's pets without permission. Never had a problem after that. It's really not that hard a concept, but the kid took after his mom. 
Yeah, and this poster is absolutely right. It's not that difficult. If you spend the time and explain it to the children, they usually get it on the first try. And if not, second try, because they're kids, you know. But the fact that the mom didn't even get it in the story, this Karen, sounds like a horrible human being. Yeah, and I just really hope that the kid doesn't turn out like she does. But you never know. Anyways, so the moral of this story is leave service dogs alone. They are at work. And take your time when explaining to people who are new to the concept of service dogs, like children. And our next comment, COVID alone would be solid reason enough to refuse someone to touch your dog. Not that you should need a reason at all. No should mean no. I work in a pet store slash dog groomers, and we aren't allowed to touch people's dogs because although the virus is believed not to be transferable to dogs, it can still be carried across on their fur from their owner. But a service animal? How stupid and entitled can you be? What a disgusting woman. Greed, disgusting woman. Now, as far as the virus being transferred by dogs, I'd heard that as well, but I guess it being transferred from their fur, maybe that's an explanation for it. Yeah, I need to look this one up. I didn't spend the time to look it up. Sorry about that, listeners, but I guess pets can get it too. And on to our last comment. When I worked at Walmart, I saw a similar situation happening with a veteran and his service animal. I ended up stepping in between Karen and the vet so he and the dog could leave. The lady was so mad, she went to the manager. Luckily, I had a cool manager, and he just told her to send a complaint to corporate. I never heard anything back about it, so either she didn't file a complaint, or corporate didn't care enough to pursue it. I really don't understand why people think it's okay to hassle service dogs and their owners. Again, same subject matter, leave people with service dogs alone. Dogs are at work. You don't bother the people when they're at work. Simple as that. And good on this poster for actually stepping in and taking care of the situation so it didn't escalate into something that happened in in this story that we read earlier. Okay, guys. Well, that was our story for today. I hope you like it. Tell me what you thought. And yeah, let me ask you guys. Do you think it's okay to pet a service dog when he's at work? Let me know. Maybe I'm in the wrong here. Well, that's it for today. So be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And till next time.